to YouTube. I just wanted to share a few things that I did to help my hair to grow um, on this little hair journey that I went on in the past 12 months. My hair grew about seven inches in the last 12 months and these are some of the things that I did to help it to grow. Um, I did give it a trim so that's one of the things that I will talk about but it's about two inches less so I would say five inches is what I've retained on my head and two is what I've cut throughout the 12 months. So the first thing that I did was hydration. I stayed hydrated. I tried my best to drink water all the time and if I wasn't drinking water I was drinking herbal teas and I feel like that made a big difference in helping my hair to grow. It's really good for your hair, skin and nails to be drinking water in general. So that was one of the big things that I noticed was helpful for me. The second thing was a sleep cap. I used one of these every night before I went to bed and before that I never used sleep caps before. So this one is satin. You can either have a satin or a silk cap and this really helped because what happens is during the course of the day when your hair is like rubbing up against like this is a cotton shirt. So if it's rubbing up against a cotton shirt or any texture really, if it's rubbing up against materials, it will cause friction and that gives it more chance of breaking on the ends. And it's the same thing for when you sleep at night, unless you have a silk or satin pillowcase, it's the exact same thing that happens. So around the house during the day when I'm doing nothing, I will wear this and also at night uh, before I go to bed, I will always have this on. So that was number two that helped me to grow my hair. Number three, stayed away from heat. I allowed myself to use heat, which was in the form of a silk press to straighten out my hair once every three months. So four times in a year was my limit and that worked well for me. Um, some people just don't use heat at all whatsoever, but for me, I enjoy having my hair straight every so often and I actually find it so much easier to maintain um, with day-to-day -day life. So. For me, I needed it to be straight and what I do is just stretch it out the best that I can for like a month and a half. And I do have some other things that I'll talk about maybe in another video of what I did while to stretch out my straight hairstyles and what I did in the curly state to maintain it as well. But in general, I just avoided heat and only used it once every three months. And that made a difference in my hair retention, my hair length retention. And the last thing that I did was that I trimmed it. So I mentioned that I had cut two inches over the course of the year. Uh, that was because of heat damage, but even when the heat damage was gone, uh, every so many weeks, like say maybe like every eight weeks, so every two months, I would like start dusting just the ends. So that's like not even like, not even like an eighth, it was probably like an eighth of an inch. So. For people who get really tense about cutting their hair, you don't have to cut a lot. Just dust the ends and that will do wonders in retaining hair length. Um, the hair grows approximately half an inch. Some say for uh, black hair, it's about uh, less than that. It's like three quarter, uh, a little bit less than, than half an inch every month. So if you try these tips and they work, great. Um, everybody's hair is different.